Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at mobilizations for a patient who has limitations of knee flexion, passive, passive and passive accessory. So I'm going to take my patient, I go up and I say, oh, that's, that's, his own, that's his range of motion. We know with this, that also goes with internal rotation. So I can go up and see what his internal rotation is in that position. I can back off a little bit and put his foot down. We know if I want to get knee flexion, I have to get medial or internal rotation of the tibia and I want to do a posterior glide. So I have him in the position of his limitation. I kind of came off a little bit, so he has some room. This hand goes on the medial, right below the medial uh, tibial plateau. This hand goes on the femur. And you see how my arms, my arms are going to be this direction. I'm going to do more, get the internal rotation by doing that. So I'm getting that motion. And then I'm doing a posterior glide. So the range, it winds up being that position. So I do the rotation and then a posterior glide to get that part of the capsule. I could just hold it there, right? Could do it for 90, 30 second stretches, come back. If I want to do more of a, a Maitland grade four plus plus, I can go to the end range and do little oscillations at end range. Okay, I can do a set of that, then I can come back and see how do we do? Ooh, much better, <laughs> right? Flexion with the rot internal rotation, still a little stiff. I'm going to put him back down, hand here, hand here, take up that rotation, and then do a a to P glide. And the key is, is I'm, as I push together, working my pecs a little bit to get that, that range. All right, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.